Hello everyone and welcome to this yet another session of Mission Midterms. Today it's a one shot session and by the way, I'm not there, I understand. But still it's a premiere, alright? So it's okay, you're not here. But we don't want you to miss any of your studies and it's a one shot session. Means we can do it. I just want you to be alert. I just want you to be very careful and very active in the chat even though I'm not there or I can't see your comments right now, but your friends are there and you can just chat among yourself about the topics as a random baat nahi karne ka, hai? So all right, let's start with the discussion of motion and measurement of distances. It's an easy chapter. It's just, it feels lengthy to some students. So let's talk about this, okay? Come on, ready? Excited? Fine? All right, chalo. Let's start. And by the way, the video which you saw in the starting was of Anthe. Now, class 6 students, they are wondering, sir, why Anthe is for class 7 to 12th? That's how it is. But I, what I want you to is, do is, uh, you see this, no? And it's a very, very prestigious exam. So if you want to prepare for next year, right? Or if you have someone, elder brother or some cousin or anyone who is between class 7 to class 12th, I want you to tell them about this particular exam. Why? Because this exam is a very prestigious exam. All India level pay. This exam happens. You will get 100% scholarship, all India ranks, cash rewards, four mock tests the moment you register. And exam is from 5 to 13 and 6 to 13. Online 5 to 13, offline 6 to 13. You will have centers in your particular cities. Don't worry about that. Link for registration is in the description and registration is free. All right. So it's okay, this year you cannot, but I I understand you have figured out ways how you can register. I won't talk about that. And by the way, important thing, people who do well, they get all expenses paid trip to NASA. NASA. Right? Rocket wala NASA, right? So make sure you tell this, make sure you make people to register, okay? That's important. And we are here for mission midterm. The target is 100%. Sir, it's an impractical target. It's impractical if you just think it impractical, right? If you target 100% and still you work hard to reach 100%, even if you miss, you will reach 95%, 96%, right? So important thing is you have made up a target and you work according to the target. Aisa nahi hai pehle. Sir, 100 hai, hum to ho hi nahi paega. Chhod dete hai. Don't do that. That's why, okay? Fine. And while we are doing the mission midterm in 45 days, targeting 100%, we are giving you chapter revision and notes, mock tests, one shot marathon, exam focused questions, doubt solving and strategy sessions. So if you want to enjoy this thing, or if you want to target 100%, if you want to do well in academics, because you know what, all these things are very good. We are doing everything nicely for you guys, but you will only get to know if you are a subscriber. Make sure you click the subscribe button right now. Right? Like and subscribe right now, otherwise you'll forget. Come on, do it, do it, do it! Right? Nice. All right, chalo. Let's start the beginning. Or I would say motion and measurement of distances. Let's start with motion first, right? How it all started. Today we have so many modes of transport, but we were not always like this, right? The journey begins from this. We harnessed the, I would say, energy of animals like bulls and oxes, right? So. Bull carts, bullock carts, right? These were these were quite common back then. And nowadays also in villages you can see them, right? They are, they are pretty much there. Fine. And by the way, this is a one-shot session. Means we have already done concept capsule sessions. And those were pretty interesting. We tried a lot of stuff. We did a lot of crazy things in those. So if today we are talking here business, you know, uh, I'll make it interesting for you, but still, today we are here to talk about business. But uh, I won't tell you a lot of crazy stories or facts or about Egypt or you know everything, everything else about French Revolution, because we have done that. If you want to watch those, go ahead and you can watch the concept uh, concept capsule session for this particular chapter. Okay, if you want to save time, watch it on 1.25x. In YouTube, there is a feature, right? You can change the speed. You can increase or decrease the speed. You can do that, by the way, right? Okay, so journey started with very simple things like bullet cards. Slowly, slowly, we started evolving because the need started to be more, right? We wanted more. You are not enough with what you have. You want to travel faster. You want to travel quicker. You want to travel and take more things. You wanted something more. So that's why steam engine in 17, 
1812, steam engine came into being. Richard uh, Trevithick made this, right? The first steam locomotive. Yes, correct. Then, slowly, slowly, we started with steam engines, automobiles, maybe we brought in electric cars. Before, it was about galvanic cells. Nowadays, we know Tesla is very famous for electric cars, no? Most premium electric cars we have, right? All right, all right. Slowly, slowly, we said, yeah, yeah, land is fine, but you know what? What if I want to explore waterways, right? Sea exploration started, correct? So sea exploration started slowly, slowly. Starting, May, we started exploring with the wind power, right? The wind powered ships were being used. You might have, you might have seen those old Pirates of Caribbean movies, right? Sail and all these things used to happen. You just, with the wind, you run your ship, right? So that was the wind powered ships. Slowly, slowly, we went to our marine fuels. And nowadays, we just take tons and tons of cargo into marine ships through cargo ships, correct? So this is how we have evolved. Nice, sir. Nice. Yacht, you know, cruise. We all, we all see these as very lavish boats, right? These boats, they are not just boats. They are like five-star hotels from inside. They have come a long way, right? Correct, correct. If we talk about cars, Cars also have a very, very, uh, I would say, nice history. Steam-powered cars were also developed in the starting. Slowly, slowly, we towards gasoline power. Nowadays, we all know, right? We have petrol pumps. We use gasoline, right? Petrol. So this is how we evolved. Okay, sir. We have covered land. We have covered cars. We have covered ships. We have covered trains. There's something else. Nowadays, time is of utmost important. Delhi se Bangalore agar aana hai, if I want to come from Delhi to Bangalore, the train, I mean the fastest train that we have currently, Rajdhar Dhani also takes 36 hours. What if you don't have 36 hours? You go for something which is faster. What is that? Kya hai? Likho chat mein. What are, you, what are you thinking? Write it in the chat. Come on. What is it? Planes. But planes were not always these fancy planes. Who invented planes? Can you tell me? It's a GK question, I know. People who have watched the concept capsule session, they know about this. Do you also know? If you are one of that person who does not, who has not watched concept capsule, do you know about this? It's a very easy answer, by the way. Uh, in general terms, we end up asking this question to each other. Who invented, who invented the initial plane? The first, Wright Brothers, right? Officially, Wright Brothers in 1902 invented the first controlled powered aircraft, right? So, nowadays though we have a lot, right? We have, we have again came a long way in aviation also. So this is why, why are we talking about all this? So why are we talking about ships, cars, trains, planes? Because you know what, we have to come to a concept, the concept of modes of transport. Right, and I would say it's not difficult. See, if you want to learn this, is, is it difficult? I can just come to you and say, by the there are three types of modes of transport, by land, by water, by sea. By land, what do we have? Cycle, car, and you know what, train. And by sea, we have ships, and by... This is not how we want to learn. You want to learn, you want to see stories, you want to explore the world, and that's how we all want to learn. My job is to make this interesting for you, and that's what everybody is trying. That's why I want you to be regular in sessions. I want you to be, I would say, be a subscriber of the channel. Very important, right? Chalo, okay. By land. So all these things, whatever we discussed, and in the concept sessions, we did a lot, lot more than what I did right now. By land, it's easy to understand. Sir, by land, whatever is moving on the land. Cycle, car, train, right? Bullock cart. Everything is what? Modes of transport which take which move on the land. These are modes of transport by land. By water. Easy, very easy. We have just discussed it. Ships, cargo ships, boats, right? Cruises, all these are what? By water, right? True. By air, if you talk about, sir, so we have airplanes, we have helicopters, we have fighter jets. Fighter jets, I would say, they are not a mode of transport. They are never made to travel or, you know, go for uh, holidaying in the fighter jet. No, no, it doesn't happen like that. No? So modes of transport safer, I would be. Commercial airplanes. Helicopters, right? We go to nowadays Vaishnav Devi, Kedarnath, or, or other other places. We take helicopters, no? Right? Our, our politicians, if they want to reach somewhere quickly without the traffic and all, they go by uh, helicopters, right? That's true. Fine. So this was all about the modes of transport. Now let's 
come to the next kind of topic. Now, I understand this is uh, this might be slight jumpy for you. If you watch the concept sessions, you wouldn't feel it. But if you haven't watched, you might feel it is jumpy. So there was a boy, right? Let's say he just came to know suddenly. Do you know how, what is the length of the cricket pitch? How much? Length of cricket pitch. It's a very, very uh, normal, 22 yards we call it. I don't know if you knew what this is. Yeah, yards is something which come into being. So cricket pitch, we say 22 yards. But what is a yard? What is yard? I mean, very, I mean, very rarely you come across some units which are something which we don't use generally, but they are there. Somehow they have been there, right? So yards, he's thinking, what is a yard? And then his teacher told him, hey, you know what yard is? You spread your hand from your shoulder to your tip of hand, it is yard. He said, okay, all right. But do you think his yard and the yard we have let's say the cricket pitch, is it same? He's a kid. His hand would be smaller, no? Right? So his father said, you know what? Better you use a scale. So that's why scales are something which we are more habitual with. If I ask you to measure something, anything around you, if I ask you to measure your pen, what is the length of your pen, you would just first of all take out your scale. Oh, my geometry box, take out the scale, you will see, oh, sir, this is the length, right? This is what you will do, correct? Now, scales, Measuring tapes, these are common tools we use to measure things, right? Now, let me ask you something. It's a small activity for you. Just stretch your hand like this. Take care. Stretch your hand, your hand span. What is the hand span? From this pinky tip to the thumbs tip. See, this is the length. Take care. Now, if, let's say, tomorrow you, you meet any of your friend or brother, sister, mother, father, you just ask them, uh, Mama, can you spread your hand and just put your hand over their hand? You will notice your hands are different, right? Our hands are not same. Everybody does not have equal hands. They are different. And in our concept session, if you remember, I called people. So I called whoever was there in the studio. So yes, we had Jasima, we had uh, Akansha. So we, we compared uh, each other's hand and it's a good activity, but you know, it feels good. So measure your hand span is the same for you all. So that you can see over here, he has the biggest hand than me, than she, right? So hands are different for people. That's true, correct? So is it possible to keep, uh, I would say body parts as a unit of measurement? You know what, will you believe it? They were there for a very long time. These were the units of measurement, or I would say these were the ways of measurement. We had hand span, foot, we had palm, we had yard, we had cubit. Egypt, maybe we had cubit, spans, right? So all these were very much in use. But the problem is, if I tell you, if let's say, uh, if you ask me, okay, sir, can you can you bring me five, uh, five cubits of a table? My cubit is this. Your cubit would be something else. And if I bring you a five cubit of a table and you'll be like, sir, you don't have to sit in my What is this? Different problem. How will you convey? Give me five cubit or give me, uh, I would say, give me, give me 10 cubits or 10 yards of cloth. And he's giving you something else. You are expecting something else. So much chaos will happen. This is two people talking. Imagine what is the population of the world? If everyone do, does this, what will happen? Chaos. Yes. To save from this chaos, we said, let's not do it. Let's not talk about hand span, foot, palm, yard, cubit. Let's not talk about Feet, because feet are also the same thing. And feet also, you might have heard. What is your height? Your, your, I think the most basic answer would be, sir, my height is 5 feet 3 inch. Uh, if you ask me, I would say my height is 5 feet 11 inch, right? So what, what happens here? Feet is, again, we are using it, but it's not right now the way it was. It was by actual feet. Today we have defined it. 1 feet equals 12 inches, right? 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters, right? We have fixed it. But before it was length of actual your feet, you know, you will just take your feet up. I'm not doing it, by the way. You will just take your feet up and measure things. Oh, uh, feet. This is what you do, right? So footsteps not equal. So these are not good ways to measure things. We, we are very clear with this, right? So what are the problems? Let's because it's okay, sir. I understood. If exam may someone ask me, if someone asks me, how will you tell without actually doing so much? I'll tell them, 
The problem with non-standard units like feet, span, cubit, and foot, and all these things are they are inaccurate, they are not accepted globally, and they are inconvenient. Why these three things are very important, I'll tell you. Inaccurate means my foot is different, your foot is different, you are measuring your foot, he is measuring his foot, he is measuring his foot. We all are just doing some different things and we all are, all are inaccurate. There is no standardization over there, no. So which means it should not be inaccurate, right? Or I would say the problem is they are inaccurate, no? Second, not accepted globally. For example, let's say people in Egypt are using cubit and people in England or Britain back then were using, uh, let's say, feet. Now, let's say from Egypt, someone goes to Britain and, and tells, hey, can you give me uh, five cubits of cloth? And they will, cubit? What is this? What is cubit? Right? This can be a question. I don't know cubit. So he, sh he will say, hey, tell me in feet. And the person, the Egypt person will say, feet? What is feet? I know cubit. And they both will start fighting. That's why, right? This will happen. So that's why. Not accepted globally. Non-standard, uh, not accepted globally, right? Okay, second problem. Third is they're inconvenient. With all of this chaos, what do you think? It'll be so much inconvenient for everyone, no? So these are the three major problems with non-standard units. Sir, then what should we do? We should standardize them. And I don't know if you remember, in our session, we have talked about what extent people went to standardize units. Do you remember? You remember? Uh, P.D. McCain and uh, Sean Baptiste de Lambre. There were two scientists who spent seven years trying to measure the Earth so that they can define one meter. It was a great session. I would say. If you haven't watched it, make sure you watch it. This story itself is such kind of thing that you will realize by standardization to kitna zaruri hai. And back then, people went to so much extent, they were even to give up their life so that they could just define standard units. This happened. If you haven't watched the session, make sure you watch it. It's there on the channel, by the way, right? So, standard units. For example, if I ask you standard units of me, you would say, sir, for length, what is the SI unit? We brought the system international, right? A standard units which the whole world will use. So what is the SI unit of length? It is meters, right? Yes, this is why. We standardize everything. Why? There were three problems, no? What were the three problems? Sir, they were inaccurate, they were not globally accepted, and they were inconvenient. Just remove all the negation from that. Make accurate from inaccurate. Make globally accepted from not globally accepted. Make convenient from inconvenient, right? So why, so if someone asks you, hey, why did we go towards SI units? If someone asks you, why did we go towards standard units? You can very easily, easily say, to make them accurate, to make them globally accepted, and to make them convenient. And rest, you can just write in your own words. Whatever we have discussed, you can write it to me. Important. Fine. Now, we are just talking everything, 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 scale. What do you do from scale, right? You measure. What do you measure? You measure length. But if I ask you, what is measurement? I know we all understand somehow, in intuitively we all understand what is measurement. But still, if I ask you, can you define measurement? Can you tell me and write it on paper what is measurement? What will you say? What will you say? Tell me, come on. Are, kya rahe ho? Chat mein likho. What will you say? See, you know what will you say? Comparison of an unknown quantity with a known quantity. Whatever you are measuring. Why you are measuring it? Because you don't know what is the length of that. And how you are measuring it using a scale. Because you trust the scale, right? So. What is measurement? It is the act or it is the comparison of an unknown quantity from a known quantity. Scale is something which you know it will be accurate. Paper or cloth or whatever you are measuring, you don't know how, how long it is. So you are using a known quantity to measure an unknown quantity. That is what we call as measurement. Easy enough, right? Correct? Fine? Nice. So unknown quantity using a known quantity. Simple. Height also same thing. All right. Length. Measure of the distance between two points. What is length between any two points? It is the measurement of distance, right? It is represented as the combination of a number and a unit. See, whenever you are trying to answer, let's say I ask you what is your height, right? Or if you ask me, sir, what is your height? And I tell you it's 178 centimeters. I answered in centimeters, right? Fine. Okay. Fine. Then what is this? Imagine I, I told you my height is 178. What does it mean? 
178 क्या वॉट इज 178? 178 सेवेंटी एट मीटर वन सेवेंटी एट सेंटीमीटर डेसीमीटर वॉट आई शुड ऑल्सो टेल यू वॉट राइट सो वेन एवर यू आर सम वन क्वेश्चन ऑफ हाउ मच और वट इज योर वट इज योर हाइट दे गिव यू टू थिंग्स इफ यू नोटिस दे गिव यू अ नंबर दे गिव यू अूनिट सो नंबर इज टेलिंग यू हाउ मच दैट लेंथ इज दैट यूनिट इज टेलिंग यू in what unit that length is right so if you combine both of them then the information is complete hai na see 178 alone if i tell you does not make sense if i just tell you my height is centimeters sir what centimeters you know tell me na come what are you saying think so i have to say 178 centimeters 178 is the number centimeters the unit so that's what we are telling you number plus unit will give you complete information right and this is the scale we all know this measuring devices may we have this is what measuring tape it's a scale let's talk about conversion of units sir why conversion because it happens if i told you my height is 178 cm and you ask me sir can you tell me in meters meters centimeter to meter i have to convert them you have you should know conversion for this right and i think people who have watched the concept session they remember the mars orbiter there was there was an accident nasa had lost a spacecraft because of a slightest mistake of conversion of units you remember that no we have completed this on the session and if you are listening this for the first time make sure you watch the session it was a great session again i'm telling you right so 1 meter 2 mm if you ask me see thousandth part of a meter hai na if you break 1 meter into thousand parts that one part is 1 mm so i can say One meter, है ना? One meter. If in one meter, how many millimeters are there? One thousand millimeters are there. In one meter, how many centimeters are there? One hundred centimeters are there. So what does this, sir? One upon hundred is showing me. It is showing me if you take one meter of length and break it into hundred equal parts. One part is one centimeter, right? ठीक है? Fine. One meter. Hmm. Multiply by thousand. What does it mean? It means if you take one meter. and you multiply it with 1000 so what is the meaning of multiplication multiplication means what adding 1000 times hai na 2 multiplied by 4 it means what 8 it also means 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 if you add 2 4 times it is also 8 correct so mul multiplication is what simple it is addition only how many times so if you take 1 meter of length and you add 1000 of these lengths it will be 1 kilometer right so If you are, if you want to ask me very simply, भाई देखो, in one meter there are one thousand millimeters, in one meter there are hundred centimeters, in one meter there are one upon thousand, right? Or I would, I would very simply say, one kilometer में there are one thousand meters. Fine, easy, fine, all right, बढ़िया बढ़िया चलो. So millimeter is like very small, kilometer is like very big in between these three. बढ़िया. Now, what are the precautions we should take while measuring length? See, all these are concepts. These are exam questions which come. Precautions you should take while measuring length. See, whenever you measure, no, you always make sure the scale is straight. It is not like this, right? This is correct. You all know this, no? So the initial point of distance must coincide with the zero reading, right? Which it should coincide with the zero reading, and scale should be straight. That is important, correct? It should be straight. Fine. Now, zero error. What is zero error? See zero error is if let's say you are not starting from zero of your scale, है ना? Here if you notice this scale is broken, है ना? Scale is broken, fine. So if a scale is broken, it's not like you cannot measure. You can, but if let's say a person is measuring from here, I'm not sure if from where it is broken, right? It's little unclear. Safer side would be if I measure from one and let's say go to seven. So what is the length? Total length will be seven minus one, that is six centimeters. Correct. True. So that's why this is how we measure from a scale which has broken, which has zero error. So that's why, right? Make sure that you, uh, what do you do? You should always measure from zero, right? That is what we call as avoiding the zero error. Fine. All right. Nice. And this is very important. Final reading minus initial reading is how we finally take the reading. Okay. All right. Fine. Okay. This is what I told you. You measure from one. Leave the rest. It's okay. You have to minus. No. Finally, what did we get? This reading is 6.5. This is starting from 1. So, what is the length of the pencil? Sir, final reading. 
final reading minus initial reading. So it will be what? 6.5 minus of 1. It will be 5.5 centimeters because scale is in centimeters. Fine. All right. But yeah. So let me ask you something. Correct scale reading for this one. What do you think? The correct scale reading for this. Can you measure it like this? In a way though you can, but I just told you. In a way you can, but what to do? Tell me, come on. I'll give you a hint. Notice. Now is it easy to measure? Is it easy to measure now? Right, come on. It's easy. Answer, come on guys, answer, don't wait. This is 0 0.5. This is 0 0.5, right? And the final length is 10. Okay. So total reading is how much? Final reading minus initial reading. That is 10 minus 0 0.5. It is 9.5 centimeters. Easy. That's how you take care of the zero errors. Fine. Now, what are the precautions you should take while measuring length? One was scale should be straight. Another was watch out for zero error. Third one is parallax error. So this a, I would say, difficult looking name, it's not actually. Why sir? What is parallax? You should always take measurement with a horizontal straight line. So I'm saying if you measure like this, it's wrong. If you measure like this, it's also wrong. If you measure like this, it's okay, right? So you should measure always from the point of a horizontal line, I would say. The eye should be kept in line with the point of measurement. In our concept sessions, I also showed you with this experiment, right? If you notice, can you tell me what is the reading over here? See, it's a measuring cylinder, by the way, and I have filled a green color liquid for visibility, of course. What do you tell me? What is the reading over here? See, notice, this is 80 and count the number of lines. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 84, let's say ml, because you can't see what unit is there, no? So it's ml, let's say, okay? Fine. Here, this is 80. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is 85 ml. This is how much? So this is 80. I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This comes out to be 86 ml. Who is right? A, B or C? Who is right? Tell me, tell me, come on. A, B or C? Bhai, koi to garat bol na? Someone is saying, someone is mistaken. Who? A and C are mistaken, right? B is correct. Why? Because B has been taking the reading in the line of sight, horizontally, no parallax. A and C, they are giving you erroneous reading because of parallax error, right? Nice, easy. Till now it's all clear, no? So let's start with measuring a curved line. How to measure a curved line? Tell me. You know the answer, by the way. It's all practical, you have been doing this. Tell me. See, one way is you take a thread, because threads are flexible, right? You take a thread, you just, Put the thread in a concept session. We have done an experiment also, by the way, right? You take the thread along the curved line, place it, mark the end points, take the thread off, stretch it, put it with a scale, and measure the length. Right? That is one way, right? You take the thread, stretch it using a scale, and measure the length. Length came out to be, let's say, 18 centimeters, right? Now, other th other ways could be there. It's not like this is the only way. Other ways are using a, uh, I mean, I would say using a measuring tape. Because measuring tapes are also flexible, you can bend them. They are not like rigid, like scales. Okay, that's also possible. Fine. All right. So, motion. Let's try to answer this fill in the blank. What is this? What is motion? Motion is a change in position of an object with respect to when. When will I say this body is moving? And notice my language. When will I say this body is moving? When will I say? Who am I? Who am I? I'm an observer, right? With my respect, I'm telling you this body, I will say this body is moving when I will see the position of this body changing. My, my clock is ticking. Tick, 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 tick. The body is at its same position. I would say the body is at rest if my clock is ticking. Tick, tick, right? The body is moving. How do you know, sir? Clock is moving. So with respect to time, the body is changing its position. Who is watching? I am watching. Position is changing for whom? For me. Anna. But if I am a person, let's say, who is doing this? Right? 
with time position is not changing i don't care about the the environment with respect to me only this pen position is not changing why because i am moving with it so that's why we say observers are important see motion is never an absolute thing it's not like something in motion always by depends who is asking who matlab observer right so the answer here is observer very important word who is the observer and we have done this again in concept sessions first question you to ask is by kon pooch raha hai who is asking who is the observer then only i will answer is it moving or not okay now let's talk about the types of motion you know one type of motion is rectilinear motion don't be confused with the word there is one small word in this one segment is linear just focus there a linear motion in which the path is a straight line like soldiers doing march past and going in a straight line cars on a straight road rectilinear motion right circular motion the distance between the moving particle and the fixed point about which it rotates is fixed with time so you can say circular motion is circular motion is the distance between moving particle and fixed point see if there is a point fixed point and there is a particle which is going in circle this distance should remain the same let's say i am marking this distance with this length hai na this distance should remain the same so can i say the radius is of the circle is constant yes sir it's a circular motion simple hai na so if you take a fan sir who is moving if you just mark one point on the fan hai na fan is moving like this like this like this if you just mark one point one point will be doing what one point and this center one point will be doing circular motion around the center right okay fine so this is the circular motion rotational motion in a circle about an axis see rotational motion is more about extended bodies circular is about point bodies right circular uh, rotational motion is what if you notice your fan hai na your fan is not a point it has a wing right so if you notice the complete fan like this is the fixed thing hai na fan is going like this so each point on the fan if you notice if you notice my watch over here it is one of the point hai na it is one of the point fan is going like this this point is going in circular motion right if i just move my point back if this is my new point first it was here now it is here this is also going in circle but of a smaller radius hai na as you move closer to the center the radius of circular motion decreases as you go far away from center the radius of circular motion increases so what am i telling you rotational motion is where each particle of the body is doing circular motion of different different radius so what we say this body is doing rotational motion theek hai got it easy nice about an axis so the point along which the body is rotating that is the axis earth is rotating around which axis of rotation simple hai na okay periodic motion now this is important object repeats its motion after a fixed interval of time okay fine so if you notice i'll give you, i'll show you something see if you notice this i'll just take all these and show you only one if i release it 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is a periodic motion right this is a periodic motion i would say correct so in periodic motion the object repeats its motion after a fixed interval of time important thing is interval of time is not like only this is a periodic motion anything could be a periodic motion but the motion should repeat after a fixed interval of time i don't care the motion is this the motion is this i don't care it should repeat after a fixed interval of time that is my point theek hai pakka okay oscillatory motion ha this is an oscillatory motion to and fro to and fro some path you take you take same path back some path you take you take the same path back that is to and fro motion theek hai about its fixed position so there is a center position around which you are going here 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 coming back to the same position that is a to and fro motion fine all right chalo theek hai now let me ask you something this is a very important question if you answer this question correctly means all your concepts are badhiya which type of or types of motion is slash r exhibited by the hands of a clock rectilinear circular periodic oscillatory by the hands of a clock tell me is it both rectilinear and periodic is it both uh, periodic and oscillatory is it both uh, circular and periodic or is it only periodic see i'll wait for 10 seconds 
for you to answer. Come on, tell me in the chat. Jaldi, badiya, batao. What do you think? Question is easy. Just you should remember all these motions. And I'm telling you, this is where a lot of students get stuck. Because they are unclear about oscillatory, periodic, rectilinear, circular, rotational. What do you sir? It's not difficult. And if you are feeling difficulty, watch the concept capsule session also. Hai na? Tell me, come on. Hands of a clock. If you notice hands of a clock, I would say every point in the hand of a clock is going in a circle. Circular motion is there, badiya, sir. But if you notice, the hand is coming back to the position after a fixed period of time. A minute hand, if you notice, is coming after 60 minutes. Yes, sir. A second's hand, let's say, is coming after 60 seconds, every 60 seconds. Yes, sir. A chota wala, the hour hand, is coming after 12 hours. Yes, sir. It's a periodic motion, na? So that's why it is circular and periodic. Important question. I told you before. So people, let's summarize everything. Come on. See, we have learned about modes of transport by land, cycle, car, water, is ships and boats, air is airplane, helicopter. We know this. Need for standardization because the problem was they were inaccurate. They were not globally accepted. They were inconvenient. So what we did, we chose a standard system, the system international nowadays, right? So it is accurate, globally accepted, convenient. I won't think twice before ordering something on Amazon and reading the dimensions. Jo mujhe pata hai, wahi aayega. Aise kuch alag nahi sakta. Because I trust the system international. I trust the standardization of unit, right? Length. Length is what? The distance of the path covered, right? There is a number, there is a unit. I told you, my height is 178 centimeters. Number and unit will make sense. Fine. Errors in measurement. If you don't keep the scale straight, if you look it from an angle, parallax, if you have zero error in the scale, fine. How to measure a curved line? Using a thread. Use a thread and stretch it using the scale. Otherwise, use your measuring tape. Fine. Types of motion. Rectilinear in a straight line. Circular in a circle. Rotational in a circle about an axis. Right? Circular is, rotational is this. Circular is this. So, yeah, I'm just showing you, uh, I would say, a part of a circle. Hai na? A quadrilateral, I would say. Yes, hai na? Quadrilateral, nahi hai. Kya bolte hai? Isko? quadrant. Right? This is a quadrant of a circle. Right? I'm just showing you one-fourth of a circle. So, like this or like this. This is circular. This is rotational. Got it? Periodic. Repeats itself in a fixed interval. Non-periodic does not repeat itself in a fixed interval. Oscillatory to and fro. Important. To and fro. Coming back to the same point with a, with the same path. That's it. So, people, I hope you understand. We have got you covered. And we are trying to get, get you covered from every nook and corner. Not just your academics. Not just your GK and everything we are trying to cover you. We are trying to make you something which is an all-rounder, right? So, and if you have some doubts, this is something. We have taken one doubt session for class 9th. We are taking for you also. Make sure you put your doubts in the, there's a form link given to you in the description, right? Make sure you put them because if you send your doubts, then we'll address them. I'm telling you. And you can also write, sir, should I take your name or should I not take your name? If you put anonymous, I'll take anonymous. Don't worry, hai na? So, you can take your personal doubt, professional doubt, conceptual doubt, anything. But we are here for you. Put your doubts. Otherwise, I'll have to assume where you might be going wrong. Take care. So, make sure you put your doubts because then only we'll get to know. And make sure you are a subscriber to the channel because one more motivation is people who are the first 1000 subscribers on the channel, they are getting a gift. The gift is a free MLP pack session. So, what is MLP? It is a, it is a mini learning program. Mini learning program, three two teacher model sessions you will get free. Usually it is of 399 rupees and a lot of people have already tried, I'm telling you. If you are new, you haven't tried it, make sure you try it. Because free hai, gift hai, maa kar the gift ko. Hai? Make sure you try it and use the code. There is a link given to you in the description. It's shop.byjuice.com. You click on it, it will ask you for your details, address and a code. If you put the code as YT first, that 399 will become zero. Okay? Make sure you try it. It's good, by the way. And for the notes, make sure you join Telegram. See, it's a community we are building here. Sir, you are telling me so many things to do. One time only. If you join a channel, it's one time. And by the way, on 3 p.m. every Friday, we are trying to come live. Once or twice, it got missed up. Don't worry. But you know what? We are coming live on 3 p.m. Friday to talk to you live on video, on call. 
make sure you are part of the channel and you know what we give all the notes and pdfs on the telegram channel only that's why you should be a part of it now last thing which i want to do right now is press the like button if you think i helped you if you think this video helped you press the like button only if you think we helped you right make sure you should like it because this gives us motivation नहीं तो हमको भी यार ये लगता है ना फिर क्या कर रहे हैं क्या ही चल रहा है राइट मेक श्योर यू प्रेस द लाइक बटन मेक श्योर यू पुट कमेंट मेक श्योर यू मोटिवेट अस मेक श्योर यू शेयर दिस टू योर फ्रेंड्स पीपल हु फील यू आर यू दिस वीडियो विल बी रेलेवेंट टू स्प्रेड द नॉलेज मैन कम ऑन राइट वी हैव अ टारगेट ऑफ 25k राइट फॉर आवर चैनल 6 टू 8 वी हैव अ टारगेट 25k इन नेक्स्ट फ्यू डेज मेक श्योर वी अचीव इट टुगेदर बिकॉज़ वी बोथ नीड टू वर्क हार्ड ऑन दिस एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल First, you should subscribe. Then you should make other people subscribe. That's your job, है ना? And when I say other people, ऐसा नहीं random people. People, your classmates, who you think will be enjoying this, who you think should study with you. Because don't be greedy, हाँ, है ना? Don't be greedy. Okay, I will learn and I will not tell others. If you learn and someone else also learn, and when you both sit, you will ask good questions to each other. You will have good discussions. And when you both come to sessions, you can ask good questions from me. I like it. and it will enhance the learning of both of you theek hai make sure you subscribe and make sure you uh, make others also subscribe who you think will be relevant fine chalo take care bachcha thank you for joining and we'll meet next week don't worry bye bye